In China, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says the state-sponsored repression of all religions is intensifying. The Chinese Communist Party is now ordering religious organizations to obey CCP leadership and infuse communist dogma into their teachings and practice of their faith. The mass detentions of Uyghurs in Xinjiang continues. So does the repression of Tibetans and Buddhists and Falun Gong and Christians. China has rejected criticism of its mass detainment of Uyghurs as interference in its domestic affairs and says the vast network of detention centers in Xinjiang are used for vocational training. Wednesday's release of the State Department's 2019 Religious Freedom Report comes as the world watches massive protest against racism and police brutality throughout the United States. Asked about U.S. moral authority to judge other nations, Pompeo said the U.S. confronts injustice head-on, unlike in China. When something is as tragic and as awful as what happened to George Floyd takes place, that the government responds. Right? We saw both local law enforcement and our Department of Justice move very quickly to address the particular situation. Elsewhere in the world, U.S. officials point to Nigeria, where the Islamic State terror group and Boko Haram continue to attack both Muslims and Christians. U.S. Ambassador for International Religious Freedom Sam Brownback called for action during Wednesday's State Department briefing. I'm deeply concerned about what's happening in Nigeria uh, because of the escalation of the violence and the carnage uh, and, the, and the lack of response, effective response by the government. We really need the Nigerian government to step up and, uh, and act much more uh, effectively in, um, uh, in, their, uh, in their space. Brownback said majority Muslim Saudi Arabia also remains a country of particular concern, as it is still the only nation in the world without a single church. Cindy Sane, VOA News.